And again, a deep cleansing breath in through your nose, the pit of your stomach. And release. I'm going to bring in our connection to source, the divine. I'm going to allow his energy to come down through your crown chakra, opening and expanding the energy center. Bring it down into your third eye. And bring it down into your throat chakra, opening and expanding your truth. Bring it down into your heart chakra. Expand that energy and move out anything that feels stuck. Bring that energy down into your solar plexus. Down into your sacrum. Bring it down into your root. Down your legs to the center of the planet. And allow that energy to bounce right back up into your heart chakra. And we're going to start expanding this energy out past your body. And out past your house. And out past your town. And out past your city. Allowing your energy to touch every single person that walks through to the edges of this planet and beyond. And as your body is dropping down further and further, with every breath you take, it drops further and further. I want you to rise up out of your physical body. And as you rise, you see four beings appear. These beings are all angels. It's called seraphim. They're asking you to trust in them today to guide you through a process of release and heal. They're there to make sure that you understand that you are safe and that you are guided the whole time. And they're not going to let you down. You take your left hand and you put it in one of their hands. You take your right hand and you put it in their other. They walk you towards the edge of your room. And you notice the walls start to morph and swirl. They're reassuring you it's the gateway portal for you to step through. You trust them. And as they guide you through the wall, you step forward into a space that's green, shimmering emerald light cascading around you, allowing you to see the seraphim up close and personal. You notice that their bodies are glowing green, but they're sparkling and iridescent. You look down at your own skin just to be sure, and you notice that your skin is doing the same. The seraphim behind you starts to rub your back. And it starts to release some tingles down your spine on either side. Your heart rate picks up speed. You're excited and giddy at the same time. They're reassuring you that they're just allowing your wings to come free. There's no more hiding who you truly are. You've waited a really long time to have your wings, and today is your day. They start to say a prayer around you in a circle, and you feel a little bit of pressure on either side of your spine. And you can feel these wings pop out from your back. You turn around and admire them from either side. They're about six feet tall. And they come up over your head and expand past your arms. They're translucent, translucent, but they shimmer gold. You never thought it was possible to be this angelic, but they assure you that you've earned it. Just by stepping forward into who you are today, you've earned your wings. 
as they walk you forward into this green space. They show you up ahead that there's a mountain. And as you walk towards the mountain, you notice that the sky is changing color. You notice that the sky has codes in it. And these codes keep dropping from the atmosphere. You watch as they fall down and hit the seraphim and then you. These codes activate inside of you, starting at your crown down to your feet. It activates your DNA. You can see these codes activating inside of the seraphim, and you notice their internal bodies start to glow. They reassure you that yours is glowing too. You're taking in all of these activations to elevate your DNA to the highest level possible in this moment. You feel a fluttering in your heart because you know you've earned that too. They keep guiding you forward to the top of this mountain. And when you get to the top of the mountain, you notice that it's flat. And you notice that there's an image on the ground. They guide you forward to stand in the middle of this image they show you that it's the Christ, Christ conscious grid set up as sacred geometry. They tell you that you're standing on the emerald tablet and that as you're staying there, the information in this tablet is all yours. We all have one. And this one is designed especially for you. As you stand there in the center of the grid, they turn and hold hands with each other, creating a circle of light around you. And they start to activate the code to allow you to upgrade everything about you and your journey here to activate all of your special gifts inside of you that you've forgotten. They activate your third eye. You can feel your third eye buzzing. You can feel your pineal gland opening up. You allow them to work on you, decalcifying and opening anything that they need to to raise you up to the highest level that you're ready for. The seraphim who's standing in front of you lets go and pulls out an orb. The orb is clear, but the seraphim adds energy and codes with pink diamond light in it. And they place this orb inside of your chest, activating your heart chakra and your higher heart. You allow these codes to open and encompass everything inside of you. Being at peace and one with any gift that you need to receive. They're just asking when you feel uncomfortable or feel tight to breathe into it and release what's no longer serving you. To make room for these new energies to come in so that you can advance forward. They continue to watch the energy rise up through your feet. 
as they're swirling energy around you. Your body gets lighter and lighter, purging out all the old and making way for the new. You open your eyes and you notice the seraphim standing in front of you has changed. The seraphim is now Merlin the magician. He hands you a scroll. You accept it and open it. Inside of it, it says, you are a child of God. You have everything that you need in this now moment. There is zero separation between you and what you want. So as we leave here today, you leave the past behind. You're no longer that person you were before you stepped through the portal. You won't be the same person when you go back. At the end of the scroll, it says divine love and light. You run your hands along the script that says those words. And all that energy from that, from the creator, comes through your hands and up to your heart. He allows you to take a look and feel what it's like to possess all the love you need. And know that there's nothing that will waver it. You close the scroll and go to hand it back to Merlin. He tells you to keep it. So that if you ever need reassurance that you're not, that you're loved, to take back out the scroll and read it again. You say thank you and place the scroll in your back pocket. You bow your head and thank you. Putting your head back up, you notice that Merlin's gone and the seraphim is back in place. You say thank you to all of them that you're grateful for this moment of being able to experience this energy with them. They break apart and ask you to walk with them. They walk to the end of the platform, off the cliff, and they carry you as they jump off. You have your wings, but you're not used to flying yet. So as you get the hang of it, they're just holding on to you. I just said, relax and be free. Don't overthink it and you'll fly. You maneuver your body so that you can start understanding how these wings work. And as you get the hang of it, you notice that they're not holding on to you anymore. That you trust yourself 100% to take you where you need to go next. They smile at you and send you love, reassuring you that you've got it. And as they fly with you, you notice that the sky changes color again. You notice that it's getting brighter and brighter and warmer and warmer. It feels like you're landing on a beach, and it looks like you're landing on a beach, but it looks different than Earth. And as they touch down with you on the sandy beach, you turn around and look at this bright yellow light coming from the sky. It's the central sun. They show you that you possess all of that inside of you. They show you a Merkaba in their hands. And they tell you that you have one as well. 
I show you how to activate it in your hands. And you notice this mark about grows bigger and bigger. Where you put it down on the sand, it grows bigger than you. They guide you to step inside of it. They let you know that you already have these within your body system and on the outside. This one we're going to use as a vehicle to take us to the central sun. And as you enter into the Merkaba, they start to lift it up. They take you higher and higher towards the sun. It gets brighter and brighter. The outside of the Merkaba starts to change color. With rainbow colors tinting the outside so that the light doesn't bother your eyes. And you notice as you get higher and higher towards the central sun, your body feels light. It gets lighter and lighter and it starts to change frequency. No longer looking like a human body, you can see through your hands. As you rise higher and higher, you notice that there's codes coming through the Merkaba from the central sun. These codes start to reverse the aging process. Wrinkles go away. Hair color changes. Eyes get more clear. Skin is flawless. These, these healing codes go through your ley lines of your body, through your meridians, through your systems, your endocrinum, through all your organs, through all your cellular body. And as it makes its way through all of your body systems, it starts to crush everywhere you've been hurt. Anywhere that you're holding onto tension in your body, it dissolves it. These codes are so powerful, it can rejuvenate you back to a baby. If you let it. If you trust it. If you believe it. You allow these codes to filter in through every aspect of your body. You watch as the codes break up energy and you can see it lead through your translucent skin, watching them float outside of the Merkaba. You feel your breath getting bigger and lighter. You feel the energy on your chest expanding. You notice that you have no fear. Could you let go of that illusion? You notice that you can feel some emotion rising inside of you because you never thought you could feel this way. But this is a home remembering. And every time you think of home, this is where you think being with your brothers and sisters, sharing the energy. And as, as you stand there and absorb all of these codes, you use telepathy, telepathy to talk to the seraphim, asking them if we can bring some of these codes back to earth to help humanity. They say, absolutely. They say create a ball of energy and allow the codes to come into that ball of energy. By holding out your hands, the ball will appear. We ask the central sun to please fill this up with healing energy for every person on this planet that needs healing right now. Every animal, every tree, every plant, every insect, every mammal. But no one is excluded from this healing. 
And as it starts to fill up, you know that it's getting bigger and bigger in your hand, but it's not getting heavier, it's actually getting lighter. It grows bigger and bigger. You notice that the energy is pure love and that it's changing colors from white to pink to red to blue to orange to green to purple to yellow. You notice that this is God's love inside of there in just a different form. You feel the energy rise inside of you that you were so excited to bring this back to earth that your role as a humanitarian has just begun. And this is one way that you can help. That you're ready to step into this role and be the light worker. You give thanks to the central sun and you feel your Merkaba descending back to the beach. Still holding on to this ball of energy. The excitement builds higher and higher inside of you because you're ready. And as you step foot on the ground, the Merkaba disappears. The seraphim look at the ball you're holding and are pleased and joyous as this will help so many who are ready to receive it. They grab each one of your arms and guide you back, back to the portal. But you ask them if you can do one last thing before you head home. You ask them if you can oversee earth and drop this on the entire earth itself so that everybody gets the same partaking of this energy. They agree. And as they take you over top of earth, you can see your brothers and sisters standing beside you, behind you and below you and above you. Everybody ready to share this energy that they have. And as you release the ball of energy to the earth, you notice that everybody's ball is a different color. And as you watch each ball hit the earth, you notice a vibrational change. It's like a ripple in time, collapsing time, moving time, and ending certain reality. You feel peace come over your heart and you feel so much love and gratitude for being able to do this and that you're excited to see what happens starting now. And as they take you and fly you back towards your portal, towards your home, you say thank you. And as you step foot back into your living room, your wings retract inside your body. You turn around to say thank you and they're already gone. Knowing that you have this in your heart forever. And that you know what to do is your next step to help yourself and humanity. And as you walk back over to your body, you sit back down inside of yourself radiating pure love and pure joy outside of you from inside of you. You give thanks to God for this opportunity to just be present and to enjoy this moment for what it is. Loving all of you for And when you're ready, take a deep breath in breath. Come back into awareness. Come back into yourself.